and everybody fails. You come to life or death, you come to heaven or hell, you, and you regret it because you see you couldn't do it. At the end of time, God stands and it's like, well, the scroll needs to be open mm. and nobody is able to do it, save God alone. Mm. So he comes and gives his life, but before he gives his life, he has to die in it. But you can't lose track, nor can you help you. I think many times people who are called, people who are gifted, people who are assigned, you carry a heavy burden over your shoulders. You carry the crown that weighs a ton, but you still are mission to carry it because nobody can hold it. When God has put you on such a great calling and assignment, you can't pass it off to anybody else because they couldn't handle the weight that you handle. Right. And I'm talking to somebody tonight who finds himself in this kind of place where, where you can't pass it on because people pretend like they know what you're going through, that, that they, they could even do it better than you. But if they spent the day in your shoes, what, what you face on a daily that they couldn't deal with over the course of a lifetime, it, it's, it's too heavy for them, but they want to tell you how to do it. You're called in it, assigned to it, and sometimes it feels like you want to give up. Sometimes it feels like you want to throw in and be like, God, I, I don't, I don't want to do it at all. I know I've come to this place. Yeah. It's heavy and it's hard. Where you done had it, and now I want to be done with it. I think it's difficult being such a lighted gift because everybody want to hold you, but everybody can't handle you. Mm -hmm. Is that you, you're wrapped in it, you got the bow on it, you are all encumbered, the gift for today. And folk don't even respect the fact that you're here, that you're present. Yeah. They, they, they wanna see what's in you, but find no value in you. So he's on the cross and they strip his clothes off of him and they cast lots for him. We find the value in what you bring, but we leave you there. Where you have one on the left and one on the right. And I don't know if they're thieving on a cross trying to gain their way into heaven or if they really value him and they want to be next to him. You spent your entire life helping people and you come to a place of needing help and folks still asking stuff of you. You, you ever been drained to the point where you ain't got nothing else to give and you're still required to give? Mm -hmm. Where like you can't find no help, no safe haven, no sleep, no refuge, nowhere. <laughs> And I'm still required to be me, to still be, perform like God. Right. You have to be the leader, uh, the organizer, uh, the helper, uh, the fixer, the, the dad, the husband, the, the, the friend, the, the son, and everybody is calling out for you. You can't. That's the insult he finds himself. But see, you can't allow the heaviness of the crown hmm. to weigh you down so much where your cross you can't even carry. The assignment, the goal, the job, the chore, the task is that you get over it, mm -hmm. that you make it through it. Yeah, it's going to cost you to, to die in it. You got to die to everything that was pride. If Everything that was, I hate these folks. Everything that is, I don't even want to be bothered. I'm tired in it. Everything that is being selfish in a place where you're called to be yeah. selfless. You can't get down and because of the rain. Mm -hmm. You have to endure to the end. Mm -hmm. You have to hang there. You gotta, you gotta mm -hmm. hang on until, until morning comes. I'm just being used. I'm, am, am I just everybody's coat hanger or, yeah. or uh, uh, umbrella holder? The real side of that is, is you having to walk through the rain mm -hmm. the whole time. A lot of us get to our cross complex and we don't ever see the manifestation of the first of the week get up. Because somewhere between where you were supposed to die to you, you died to them and then lost. Where we want to give up right when we're closest to the breakthrough. Mm -hmm. But we can't even see enough of God to be able to walk through it. And it's going to cost you some stuff. And it's going to cost you some people. The person that you're supposed to be birthed into being, you'll never get to until you let go and die to and be stabbed in and be crucified to everything that was the old. Your new life is so important and so big. It's so critical for you to be reborn. You got to die to old habits. You got to die to old friends. It's the, yes, it's going to strain you. It's going to pull you. It's going to push you. It's going to hurt you. 
but but you have to be so determined i'm gonna get to my get up where i'll die to anything that want to hose me from getting up and he died and so did the two men on the cross beside him he died before them you 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 ever been in a dead place and then folk that's connected to you can't even help you because they dead in it too you 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 trying to pour it into them and they can't even receive it and are pour back into you or, but y'all in it together I'm, I'm 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 talking about being connected to real people who can pray for you but can't help you in any other way mm -hmm. since I, I need to strip you down to like the bare cores of what is the necessities of life if if you can get away from the cash and get away from the cars get get get, get away from the townhouses and the apartments get get away from all that stuff and then connect right back to me then i'll be your strength to help you get through all this course all this task everything that the enemy said would hold you back that would kill you he says, I'm going to help you get through, but you have to be stripped down. You you got to be stripped of it, played in it. You got to be tried by it. And you have to be um, you have to be tempted of, of it to not only that, but people connected to you won't even be won't even be able to help you. But they'll be there for you. Mm -hmm. They they're close enough. See you. We all in this thing together. Now, you know, you're anointed. You know, you have a great assignment. When God not only holds you accountable for what you're called to do, but God would hinder people who you know are able to, but he'll stop them from helping you get out. All, all the people that he healed, everybody he set free, everybody who has uh, become sight when they were blind, who can walk when they were lame, who could, who got up from the dead, they have nothing to lose. This is life too for them. Is that somebody could have came. But but see, if somebody shows up and helps him get down, yeah, it feels good to not be tied to the tree. It, yeah, it feels good not to be nailed with your arms behind you. It, it, it feels good not to be hanging off the tree when people who you're connected to can help you get down, but you'll never get to your breakthrough. You'd never come to the getting up. You'd never get to the first of the week if you die during the weekend. But I need you to be disconnected from it and connected to me. So much so that you're sold out to everything that is God's plan, God's will for your destiny. Mm. And so be buried in it. Be buried in it, but don't forget you are a seed. So you have to go through the sad days that becomes the water. You have to go through the, the mix up of friends and mom and dad not being there. You have to go through, I came to call on a sister brother uh, that becomes the um, plowing of of the soil mm -hmm. where well, you have to be in good ground because sometimes you can be planted firmly but until God shakes it up it's not good ground mm -hmm. and then you have to sit there and it's uncomfortable sitting Thursday night <laughs> Friday night and Saturday it's uncomfortable sitting for a while but God has you to sit there until you begin to sprout you you have to grow first underground growing you you have to grow in you and grow in god you have to have to grow in you and grow in god nothing else has power like that yeah nothing yeah and and you can't get so sidetracked in temporary power mm -hmm. that you forget that you have to be plugged into a greater source and i have a um a wireless qi um charging pad but there's something about power that won't allow for generic power. There's there's not enough pool in it. And it's not the cord, mm. it's the brick right. that plugs into the real source. If I'm close enough to the wireless charger that's plugged into the real source, mm -hmm. it's that it's gonna charge it. Mm. I, I don't it don't have to be on it. I just have to be close enough to it. Mm. It, it. It don't have to be right on top of it or or it don't even have to come out the case. But when you're close enough, you see you you have to gain strength, grow strength. You you have to be strength when you're just um, close enough. Where mm -hmm. where I can sit here and talk to you, but I'm talking to him. Mm -hmm. It is you you have to stay plugged in even when it seems like you're not plugged in. You you have to be connected when it seems like you're not connected. And folk can put you out and you're still plugged mm -hmm. in. Folk enjoy you today and hate you tomorrow and you're still plugged in. It's because you out, but you're still not home. The connection. Mm -hmm. You you understand what I'm saying? Is that is that if God is the source, I'm never gonna run out of strength. Mm -hmm. 
is that I'm always connected. And so you have the most powerful plug in the world. He'll keep you lit up, keep you full. He'll keep you good if you stay connected. You don't even have to be plugged in. Right. Just stay connected. Just, just, just stay in prayer. Just, just, just stay in the word. Stay, mm -hmm. stay seeking him. Stay on your knees and on your face. And he says, if, if, if you wait on me, wait in it. And, and then eventually enough that you'll begin to recharge mm -hmm. from right here because you're close enough. Mm -hmm. And so, and know that wherever they put you, that God won't leave you. And early Sunday morning, of course, they come in. But they came in early looking for him. They came in early, right, around the time that the gardener still would be there. But Jesus isn't in the tomb. They came in before 5 o'clock in the morning, but they were too late. When, when they come, they can't find the one who died that they laid in the tomb. And, and I know some people gave up on you and said that... Um, there was no hope for you. I can't be around you. You, you, you too much of a bad influence. Your, your life ain't gonna get no better. You, you gonna die in this. And, and somewhere in eternal grace of God, he looked back and was standing by your side to say that they gave up on you. They, they will put you in the ground here, put dirt all over you, talked about you bad. They, they said, this is, this, this is all the grace that God had for you. And they laid you there and sealed the tomb. That every rock they put in front of you was not to propel you. It was to keep you. Mm -hmm. But God said, I won't leave you where they left you. It's that somewhere in that you had to regrow. Somewhere in that you had to be reborn. Somewhere in that you had to be repurposed. Not in yourself, not in them. Is that if they had helped you, not gave up on you, you would never get to the point where God could deliver you. And so you have to stay in it alone. You, you, you got to lay there and go through it. Be in all that stuff and you still know, know that I'm getting yeah, up yeah. from here. Getting rejected, kicked out in order to... Yeah, to, you, to, you, to land in. you have to be turned down to get up. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you have to be put in it and for, put you down for you to get up in it and then walk out of it. But, but God does his best work in the dirt. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's where they give up and bury you. God said, no, that's a seed. I'm going to raise him. Mm -hmm. that you have to grow through that. You, you got to break through that doubt. Break through that self-doubt. Break through that all the words that were to deter you. But you use that as your determination. And when you get up, it's going to be before they get there. Right. People love coming in on scene when when they find out that you get up. But, but where you left me, you won't find When When you see that I was greater than, than what you thought of, when you see that where you left me couldn't hold me, it couldn't handle me, that I was bigger than that, greater than that, purpose than that. When there was a bigger calling on my life, yeah, yeah it was mission. So I appreciate you. You tell them people you appreciate them today. I appreciate that you gave up. I, I appreciate you turned your back. I appreciate when I called you, you ain't answered the phone. Receive no return to I, I ain't even mad. I ain't holding no grudge. I, I, I came I to thank it. you today right. because every time you gave up, God showed up. Every time you said I wasn't going to come out, God brought me way out. Every, every time that you said this was the end of me, God said he's pushing me further into my destiny mm -hmm. to know that where they gave up, where they laid you, God says, I won't leave you. Now will I give up on you? You have to get up from that. I, I need you to be workable, malleable. And since... Since God is omnipresent, is that if he was at one point in time in the dirt forming you, he's always in the dirt. Right. And and he'll never leave the dirt. Right. Now 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 he's not bound to the dirt. Right. It's just that I want me back. That's that that's what I want. I want that's, sit in a room by yourself and, and be just, fine. You playing in the dirt. You self sufficient. You and 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 that's why kids get such a joy from being outside. Just just doing nothing. Just playing in the dirt, running around, just kicking can. You and they come in and you why are you so dirty? It was connecting with God. I just needed to be outside. Needed to be the God that I was created to be.